we're good. Okay, hello everyone. Let's see, hello, a little adjustment here. Okay, uh, my name is Alex Wilmer. Uh, uh, oh gosh, uh, you can find me at, at Benevolent Ninja. You're like a Twitter kind of guy. Um, cool. Uh, so I wrote this little utility called Chrome Fresh because, you know, I don't want to, maybe you might want that, you know, like totally spin up a brand new Chrome, no tabs, nothing in the autocomplete that you don't want to show that by accident. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, you want to share your Russian secrets or whatever. I'm Polish. <laughs> hey man, I'm just going by what you said. Uh, is this a, I feel like this should really increase in size. Whatever, it doesn't matter, URL is not important. But in case you're interested about that, you can go to github.com slash Alex Wilmer Chrome Fresh. It's pretty just like for fun, easy utility to use. So you know, you just like get a, like a super. I was trying to get uh, Randy with the chef hat, but they didn't have it, okay. Um, all right, so my, my talk is titled, Let's Make a Synth. So let's make a synth. Uh, when I say synth, if we just Google synth, Synth images. Yeah, one of these guys. Like uh, something like that, but in the browser. All right, you guys ready? Ready to make a synth? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, so the first thing you do when you make a synth is. Uh, we'll try. Uh, is you go to your favorite website, Microsoft.com. <laughs> and then uh, you say, oh gosh. You say document.body.inner html empty string. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, all right, we're clear. We're ready to go here. So, uh, some of these filters are really annoying. Man, this website is really airing out a lot. <laughs> the deal is here. Seven hidden. Okay, all right, so uh, if y'all didn't know, you can make uh, some pretty cool sounds just using your browser. So we're going to try it. My uh, little speaker is connected here. Hopefully it's the right volume, but I have no idea. We'll find out in a sec. Um, okay, first things first. We're going to make a context with the new audio context. Awesome. Uh, let's turn these warnings off, man. It's really, it's really no info, no warnings. Great. Let's uh, <laughs> ignore. Life on the edge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, we're going to create an oscillator. Oscillator is like a thing that vibrates. It's like you take the you take the the thing that makes a synth a synth is that it's not a sound that I've already made. It's like taking electricity and then warbling it to make sounds. Uh, so they oscillate. So we'll say that the context creates a new oscillator. Uh, create oscillator. Awesome. And now, uh, just like kind of like nodes, like audio nodes in a graph, in a graph, um, leading on from the previous graph presentation. So we're going to connect this node using the connect function to the context dot destination, and that's kind of like the speakers, so to speak. Uh, and then uh, you know we're going to want uh, to make some different pitches. So let's like use the the window. So we'll say like window on mouse move. You got the event out of there. We'll say that the oscillator dot frequency dot value is the event dot client x. Must be fine. Um, yeah, and then let's uh, we'll call start. Let's go. Let's make some sound here. Let's <laughs> go. Oh yeah, maybe I need to make a picture. Oh man, this is like key to this. Uh, this actually working. We need an oscillator. I connected to the destination. I started it, uh, so I think this is not connected properly. It was kind of working before. Probably outputting grips. It could be like a one or an error telling you what we're doing. Is there sound through the HMI, just in case? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got sound. It works. So the system works. All right, but you know the Chrome console is going to be kind of annoying to work with for the rest of the thing. So, I have a little, I have a little uh, running server here. 
Um, it's running at localhost 3000. That's how they did Gito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah? All right. Cool. So let's do the same thing. We'll create the, well, let's make sure this works. Alert. Hey. <laughs> I got the alert. Okay, good. We're running. Uh, okay, we're going to make the context. New audio context. We're going to create our oscillator. Oscillator context dot create oscillator. Uh, all right. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, we need some way to start it. So like before, it was kind of just triggering right off the bat. So let's like use like our keyboard or something. So we'll listen to like the window on key down event. We'll get that event out of there. Oh, we want to do the other things like connect. Oscillator connect to the context dot destination. And, uh, uh, and then when we do this, we'll call oscillator start. Make sure that all works. It works. And let's make another note. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> hey, what, so what did it said? It said you can't call start more than once. Um, which is annoying. So uh, we actually can't, uh, we can't just create an oscillator once and then call start again. We actually have to kind of do this whole process every single time that we make something. So let's put this all down in here. Hopefully we don't get the same error anymore. So, okay. Okay, no more errors, uh, but super annoying. We can't do anything. We want the sound to stop, right? We got some way to make the sound stop. So window on key up, let's take the event out of here. And we'll call, oh, so we know to, I need to cache this oscillator outside here. So oscillator, uh, oscillator, oscillator stop. It might complain if I key up before I key down somehow. I'll make sure so like if oscillator exists. Then call stop. Let's see how we're going here. So, oh, it's kind of worked. It's fucking up, right? Like, hey, oh, if it's really fast, it works. But if I hold down too long, the thing is because the key down event repeats a lot, so we need some way to sort of keep track of what notes are playing and whatnot. So we'll, let's actually just make, instead of having like one oscillator that we're tracking outside, let's make like a sources map or object, if you will. Um, hey, you know what? Holy shit, I just realized. Um, <laughs> we're, we're making a program and it works, but it's not even a real programming language. It's fucking magic. <laughs> <laughs> So, all, right. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, so I got this oscillator, and we're gonna we'll get the so the event has like a key code thing, so we'll store that in the sources. We'll say sources event dot key code, and we'll make an object here. We'll we'll cache that oscillator down here, and then when we stop it, right, we have the same event. So we'll say sources event dot key code dot oscillator dot stop, and then we'll kill it. We'll just get it out of here. Do, 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 do. Boom, done. Oh, also we we'll want to make sure that we don't uh, fire this event a million times. So it's only if that uh, thing does not exist. Then let's, uh, let's do that. All right. Uh, OK, we're getting somewhere. Slowly getting somewhere. Uh, uh, who knows Morse code? What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I've lost I've lost my my pitch though. It's one single pitch. Let's bring that like uh, uh, mouse move event back up. So we'll say like window uh, on mouse move. We'll get the event out of there, and then we'll um, we'll say okay. So we'll actually we we need like all our sources. We have multiple sources running at once. So we're gonna loop through them. We'll use our handy object dot values on our sources. And then we'll for each over them. And we have a source. Oh. And then we'll say source dot oscillator dot frequency dot value equals the event dot client x. Now I can maybe make different pitches. But you can see this it's kind of like blipping out a little bit. It's because uh, Whenever an oscillator starts, it defaults to a value of 1,000. That's the number of cycles per second. So uh, we kind of want to cache the last frequency as well. So we'll say frequency. We'll start at 1,000. Uh, whenever this gets updated, we'll say that the frequency equals event dot client x. Uh, we'll use this value instead here. 
Um, and then when we start a new oscillator, or when we create a new oscillator, we'll initialize it with that value. So oscillator frequency dot value is frequency. I think that should solve that. All right, okay, so we're something a little more synthy, and it's not like flipping out like crazy. Let's make this a little bit more fun. Uh, while the mouse event moves, we'll say that the document dot body dot style dot background colored uh, is uh, HSL hue saturation light. It's a good value. We'll say event dot client x here. Sixty per sixty percent. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> 60%. Cool. So now, okay, now we can, now, I, now I can like put a, I can put a pitch to a color. Okay. All right. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, there's more. So. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the, the type of wave that you're hearing the whole time, wave being the shape of the wave, it's like how the, what the, the way that the speaker is moving is kind of like oscillating back and forth. So this is called a sine wave, meaning it's like moving equally sort of back and forth to push air, so you're getting kind of consistent air sound. But there are other shapes, uh, and they come built in to JavaScript in the web. Uh, and uh, some of those shapes are, or all of them actually. So sine, square, triangle, and sauté. You can, you can upload your custom shapes. We're not going to do that today. Uh, so let's just uh, randomly choose a shape. Um, uh, I said shapes, but it's like, you know, they are the shapes because they're shapes. But uh, in, the, in the audio API, they're called type. So oscillator type, we'll just choose a random one. So we'll say like shapes uh, event dot key code modulus shapes dot link. Link. All right, so we got, it. so that sounds like a triangle wave. Sine wave, triangle wave, uh, sawtooth. So they all, they all have their own like characteristics about what, these are like the common building blocks when you're trying to make uh, synths. Okay, uh, cool. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that sounds like, like DOS. <laughs> Blue screen. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so one thing that I don't have is that like every single time I hit a key, every time I let go of a key, it's just like full on, full off, and you know, I almost want to say like we haven't quite made a synth yet. The one thing that really defines a synth from just like a beep 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 oscillator thing, like something on a chip on a card, is it's got some sort of like variable stuff that happens over time. So one of the most common things to uh, variate, if you will, is uh, is volume. And so there's another node for that. So when we create this oscillator node, we're actually going to create another node called a gain node. Okay, and so we'll say context dot create gain. And uh, instead of connecting the oscillator to the destination directly, we'll connect the oscillator to the gain. And we'll connect our gain to the destination. So if I set like the gain, oh, obviously it's dot gain, dot value, naturally, uh, <laughs> to, to one, we should still hear a sound. But if I set it to like 0.2, it's a little softer. If I change it to 0.001, I can't even hear it. Okay, so it's working. It's working. So what we want to do is we want to set it initially to zero, and we're going to like ramp it up, you know, kind of like a regular instrument kind of doesn't just automatically get to one. And so we're going to call the gain dot gain dot. Uh, I don't always remember this, so linear ramp two value at time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to ramp up to one in like in audio context time. So it's context uh, current time, so that's like the time plus like a second or something. Let's see if that worked. Oh yeah, got a nice little fade in there. Uh, excellent. 
except it doesn't fade out. It only fades in. So we we want to we want to we want to fade it out as well. So we'll do the same thing on this side, um, except uh, you know it's like the cache thing. Oh yeah, we got to add it to this. So we keep the oscillator and the gain. Take this this stuff here. Gain. Gain. Dot gain. Dot gain. I've made this mistake before. <laughs> 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 and we're going to go down to zero. All right, let's try it. Oh, um, very important. The stop function also takes a time. And so I don't want to stop it right away. I want to stop it after this is faded out. It's kind of weird. This is way too long. Let's make this like 0 0.2 and 0. Point oh, it's, it's like using this variable twice. Time. Let's play T. Uh, 0 0.4 T. And T. I don't have enough time to type anything else. OK, let's try it. That sounds all right. Let's make this a little bit quicker. Three, three. OK, so now, so it's like, you know, if, if it's really quick, maybe 0, 1, 0, 2. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong keys. 0, 1. Uh, and we get like kind of like a bell sound, right? And so it's it's nice because like I it ramps up when I hit it, it stays while I'm doing it, and when I let go, it kind of comes off. And and this is kind of like synth, kind of like 101 kind of stuff, right? This is basically like how this is the building blocks of every synthesizer that you want to do. Like I'm not gonna go. This is kind of like getting your feet wet into synthesizers. I'm not gonna talk about how like building, you know, like Skrillexy wub wub stuff. We're just gonna. <laughs> But it sounds a lot nicer than when we started, so it's, uh, it's a fair to say. It's actually a fairly concise program, right? It's not that crazy going on. So I, I would say that the one thing that we're really missing to make this like musical is like, you know, I can, oh, let me try this again. No, OK. It's not, it's not even close. So um, it's, it's like I, I, I need some exact pitches. I need something that's going to help me to get some exact pitches. and so. You know, exact pitches, it's a math, you know, like you just take the something and then you calculate it something else. Um, but you have, <laughs> but also like, there's no like quick, there's no like one equation that you go directly from like ASCII key codes to frequencies. But there is a library for that, so we'll just import that. Uh, <laughs> audio keys, from audio keys. Now we're going to create a new keyboard, keyboard. New audio keys. And we're just going to, I mean, it's like super easy. I'm basically not going to change anything here. I'm just going to change window.key down to keyboard.down. And it takes a function as an argument. Um, <coughs> man, shitty languages don't do that. No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's right. It's only good for music and shit. <laughs> Or throw down after this. <laughs> meet, meet us at the Thunderdome later. Uh, I think that's all I need to do. I think you mean up for the second. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, because now I'm not actually changing. Uh, I mean, this frequency value is. I'm not actually setting the frequency right here. I'm setting the frequency from this one. So now I actually have a bent off frequency. That's all that does. Um, magic. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to sing? Let's sing something. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. 